Okay. Good morning. Uh, today is another day. I've, uh, uh, I've come to complete the topic that I did yesterday, being on a Saturday. And uh, being my free day, I've taken my time to come and complete the topic that I taught yesterday. So yesterday I, uh, I taught volume and uh, we have another topic that goes hand in hand with the volume. That is capacity. Capacity, in short, is the amount of a substance that is contained in an, in an object. Uh, the, the amount of substance that is contained in a container. That is what you call kappa, capacity. Capacity goes hand in hand with volume. If you can solve a problem of volume, then definitely it will be easier for you to solve a problem on capacity. So, so very fast, we are going to start our lesson uh, very fast on volume, on volume. Uh, on volume and the capacity. The first example now, you are given a cube. A cube. Remember I said yesterday, a cube, all sides are equal. So we have an example of a cube. And let the, my cube be one meter by one meter by one meter. Now the volume of this cube now, remember what I said yesterday, volume I said is length multiplied by width multiplied by height. So in our case here now, we have now one meter multiplied by one meter multiplied by one meter with the same as one cubic meters. The volume of that cube now is one cubic meters. Now, the capacity of the same cube, the capacity of the same cube now is 1,000 liters. So, my students, you must understand the difference between the volume and the capacity. Once you get the volume, then the next answer you are going to get is capacity. In short, we normally say that one cubic meter is equivalent to 1,000 liters. So in our case, if our volume is one meter cubed, that means now our capacity now is 1,000 liters. That's one example. Another example again, you are given another cube. This is a cube. Yes, let one side be five meters. If one side is five meters now, definitely all the sides remain the same. So we have five meters by five meters by five meters. An examiner will only give you one side. You are the one now to determine the other sides. So in our case here now, our volume here now is five meters multiplied by five meters multiplied by five meters, which is equivalent to 125 cubic meters. That is the volume now. Now, what is the capacity of the container now? Now we can now convert now 125 meters cubed into liters. Come in our case here now. I've just said that one meter cubed is equivalent to 1,000 liters. So now, what about 125 meters cubed? Now you just cross multiply. That now brings to my mind that to convert meters cubed to liters, always you multiply by 1,000. Can you note that somewhere? To convert meters cubed into liters, always multiply by 1,000. In our case here now, our volume is 125 cubic meters. So our now capacity of the same container in liters now will be just 125 multiplied by 1,000, which is equivalent to 125,000 liters. In short, I'm saying like this, to convert meters cubed to liters, always do multiply by 1,000. Let us go to other examples of cubic centimeters. With cubic centimeters, I'll go straight away to cuboids. Remember I said we have cubes and we have cuboids. A cube, all sides are equal. But a cuboid, we have length, we have width, and we have height. Um, so that is the major difference between a cube and a cuboid. Let me give you a very good example of a cuboid. 
This is one, this one is a cuboid. Let one side be nine, nine centimeters, another side be five centimeters, and let the height be ten centimeters. Now the volume of cuboid is length multiplied by width multiplied by height. In our case here now, we are now on a cuboid. I'm through with a cube. I've just said that a cube and a cuboid, they are different. A cuboid has length, has width, and has height. But a cube has only sides because all the sides are the same. So I'm giving a very good example of a cuboid. Now, the volume of a cuboid is length multiplied by width multiplied by height. We, 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 in which now, in our case now, is 9 centimeters multiplied by 5 centimeters multiplied by 10 centimeters, which is equivalent to 450 cubic centimeters now. A question is, will be posed like this. What is the capacity of the same container? Now, to get the capacity now, to change, to convert now cubic centimeters into liters, now here we divide by 1,000. In my case here now, we normally say that 1,000 cubic centimeters is equivalent to one liter. Now, what about 450 cubic centimeters. Once you cross multiply now, it's just equivalent like saying to convert cubic centimeters into liters, always you divide by 1,000. So here in our case, we have 450 cubic centimeters. Then you divide by 1,000, which is equivalent to now 0 0.45 liters. Note, this one is a very important point. Not what I've just said before, to convert meters cubed to liters multiplied by 1,000. But now to convert cubic centimeters to liters, always divide by 1,000. Another example of, a, of another cuboid uh, using cubic centimeters. Let us have another cube, cuboid where now the measurements are different. Now we have 10 centimeters multiplied by 20 centimeters multiplied by 30 centimeters. Our volume now in our case now is 10 centimeters multiplied by 20 centimeters multiplied by 30 centimeters, which is equivalent to 6,000 cubic centimeters. Now, what is the capacity of the same container in liters? I've just said to convert cubic centimeters to liters, always divide by 1,000, which is zero will go with zero, then the other zero like this. So our capacity in liters will be equivalent to six liters only. I believe there the point is very clear. To convert meters cubed to liters, divide, multiply by 1,000. To convert centimeter cubed to liters, now di uh, divide by 1,000. Let us uh, give some more examples. Convert the following measurements into liters. Convert the following into liters. Number one. Number one, uh, convert. 6,000 cubic centimeters into liters. I've said just divide by 1,000. Very simple. Just divide by 1,000. Just like this. Three zeros will cancel the three zeros. Our answer here remains six liters. These are three marks. Another example, convert 7,650. Convert 7,650 cubic centimeters into liters. Again, you divide by 1,000. Zero will go with zero. Now, we cancel the two zeros and you go backwards two times. That's one, two, then you put a point. So our capacity in liters now is 7.65 liters. Another example on the same is now uh, once you are given one 15,400 cubic centimeter again, and the examiner asks you to convert that into liters, or give your answer to liters, again and again I'm repeating, I'm not getting tired, divide by 1,000, which is equivalent to now one point, we'll get one point there. So our answer is now 15.4 liters. Uh, that's how you convert cubic centimeters into liters. 
Let me give other examples of converted cubic meters now to liters so that all of you can understand. Question number one. Convert four meters cubed, four meters cubed into liters. Remember what I said before? To convert cubic meters to liters, simply multiply by 1,000 only. So we, in our case, we have four meters now. So in our case, it's four meters multiplied by 1,000. Very simple mathematics. You don't need to do much work. That is now 4,000 liters. Another example of converting a meter scale to liters, you can be given 0 0.83 meters cubed. Again, they ask you, convert into liters. Again and again, multiply by 1,000. In our case now, we have 0 0.83 multiplied by 1,000. Remember, we have two decimal places. The two zeros here will kill the decimal places. So in our case now, we only have 83 multiplied by 10 with the equivalent to 830 liters. The last example on the same is when you are given 0 0.001 cubic meters, then you are asked to convert that into liters. The same thing I've said, and again I will continue saying, to convert cubic meters to liters, simply multiply by 1,000. In our case now, we have three zeros and we have three decimal places. The three zeros will kill, will swallow the three decimal places. In our case here now, you remain with one meter cubed multiplied by one, with the same as one liter only. Very good example on the same. Let me go straight now to past KCP question on the same topic. Whatever I teach, I don't know whether you have noticed this, I teach and under, I relate what I'm teaching to what is uh, coming in the examinations so that you pass your exams, so that you know the trick of the examiner, so that when, when you are at home and you are revising, especially during this time of corona era, where you are just staying in the house, you can do thorough revision on the same. And as you revise, relate your revision to uh, past KCP question so that you do well in your exam. Don't rely on one book. Question, uh, the year 2013, question number 38. You are given a cylinder, then the examiner is only asking what the capacity of that container in liters. You are given everything and the examiner is only interested to see whether you can get the capacity of the container in liters. KCP 2030, number 38, now the examiner gave you a cylinder like this, a very good example of a cylinder. Then the diameter gave out as 1.4 meters. Then the height was given as 4 meters. Then the question is like this. What is the capacity of the same container in liters? We have done volume of uh, cylinders, and we said the volume of a cylinder is just area of the cross section times the length. In our case here now, get volume of the cylinder before you convert to capacity. That's why I said capacity and the volume goes hand in hand. In our case now here now, area of the cross section now in our case is area of the circle which is equivalent to phi r squared multiplied by the height to get the volume in our case now here we have phi as 22 over 7 class if diameter is 1.4 to convert diameter to radius simply you divide by 2 1.4 divided by 2 you get 0 0.2 Seven. And another similar way of writing 0 0.7, I say another time, avoid using decimal numbers. 0 0.7 is equivalent to 7 over 10. So times the radius, again times the radius, then times height. And remember, I've just said to convert cubic meters to meters, later you need to multiply by 1,000. So let me get the volume first, 7, 1 by 7, 1. Then, I, I said you another time, while you remain with the zeros, please do not simplify. You'll be wasting a lot of time. Although at long last you get the same answer, but you'll be wasting a lot of time. Once you see zeros here alone, just multiply and then you put the decimal place. In our case here now, we have 22 multiplied by 7, which is 154. 
which is 154. Now, multiplied by 4, our answer is 616 uh, cubic, cubic meters. This is now the volume. That is now the volume. Now, examiner is not interested in the volume. The question is, what is the capacity of the container in liters? What is the capacity of the container in liters? In our case now, our volume is 616 cubic meters. So class, we say to convert cubic meters to liters, always you multiply by, always you multiply by 1,000. Um, uh, you multiply by 1,000. There was two zeros here, so should, one should be divided by 100. With the same as now, 6.16 cubic, cubic meters. To convert now cubic meters now to, to liters, multiply by 1,000. In our case now, we have two decimal places, we have two zeros. The two decimal places will swallow the two decimal places. So our answer now should be 616 multiplied by 10, which is 6,160 uh, liters. That's now the capacity. That's now the capacity of the of the of the of the of the cylinder in liters. And I want you to be very keen. Let me give you the choices that they were given during that question. A, they gave you 6.16. Then B, they gave you 61.6. Then C, they gave you 616. Then D, they gave you 660. I want you to note now the trick of the examiner. The trick of the examiner is only interested with the conversion only. Conversion only. You see now, <laughs> the decimal, here we have two decimal places, one decimal place, this one has no decimal place, the other one. The, all these are possible answers. All of them are possible. So the examiner, many are times interested to see whether an, a, a, a candidate can convert now cubic uh, meters cubed to liters with the same as you divide by another. That means a very slight mistake will land a candidate in trouble. Another example now in the year 2017, they ask the same question. They have given you a cylinder, then the question is this How many liters does it hold when full? This was the year 2017, question number seven. Again, another cylinder again. A cylinder is given. Uh, and they are not interested with the volume. They are only asking, what is the capacity of the container? Here, the radius, they give you 7. Then the height, they are giving you 20. These are all meters. These are all meters. And now the question is, what is the capacity of the container in liters? Before I continue, let me briefly give you the choices so that you can see the trick of the examiners. These examiners, are, they are... They are, they are improving their skills every day. So A, they gave 38. B, they, oh, they are only adding zero and a zero. Then C, they are only adding zero, 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 zero. Then D, they are only adding zero, 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 zero. Look how the choices are. They are matching. <laughs> they only add zero, zero at the end. That means a, a, a candidate who is not serious on how the question is being asked will not and is not going to pass in the coming exams. So we have A, B, C, and D. In our case now, let us get the volume. Volume of a cylinder is 500 squared, which in our case we have 22 over 7. We have radius 7 times 7 times 20. By 7, 1, by 7, 1. Class 22 multiplied by 7, you get 154. When you multiply by 20 now, <laughs> you get A. 154 multiplied by 20, you get choice A. And choice A is given as 3,080 shillings and 80. So 3,080, this is now cubic meter. This is now the volume. And the examiner is not interested with the volume. What the capacity in liters? In our case now, when you look at the choice now, the examiner is going now, is, is, is now, is now going on, trying to confuse the learner more. You get this, if you, do, you have not read the question, then your answer, you'll tick A. Then again, a bright student who was in class, and probably in my class, I said to convert cubic meters to liters, simply multiply by 1,000. This is the trick of, uh, of being in my class. 
because I simplify everything to be to the simplest terms possible. To con convert cubic meters to liters, here you only need to multiply by 1,000. When you multiply by 1,000 now, our answer will be now 38, eh? then you add three zeros. That's now choice D. That's now the capacity of that cylinder in liters. Uh, in the year 2015, they only gave, gave you the, 2015, question number 21, they gave you the volume of a water tank as 1084 cubic meters. Then they are asking, what the capacity in liters? In fact, you people, you are so lucky. Yet they have given you already the volume. You are going to convert, and again you fail. <laughs> Sometimes you make me cry. 2015, uh, the majority of candidates during that year, they messed up with that question. They messed up with that question. And they, they, are say, they told you that the tank is three quarters full of water. How many liters of water are needed to fill the container? I repeat the question again. Question number that nine in the year 2017. The tank is three quarters full. Then how many liters of water are needed to fill the container? Let me have a sketch of the container, of the tank. This time they gave you a rectangular tank. This time they gave you a rectangular tank uh, where, where by now the length is 5.2 meters and now the width is 4 and the height is 3 meters. And then they ask you what the capacity of the tank in liters. What is the, you, they are saying the tank already three quarters full. Already the tank is three quarters full. Assume this one now three quarters full. So, how many liters are remaining to fill the tank? Already now, if the tank is three quarters full, mathematically, if you eat three quarters, that means you remain with a quarter. So, in our case now, our, our reminder now is a quarter. What is the remaining now to fill the container? It's just a quarter of the volume. So, in our case now, you don't use three quarters now. The remaining space is just a quarter. So in our case, we have a quarter, then multiplied by the length, multiplied by the width, multiplied by the height. Then later on, to convert cubic meters to liters, you simply multiply by 1,000. So in our case here now, this 4 will go with the 4. Then in our case here now, we have now, this 0 will cancel with the 0. Then we have 52 multiplied by 3. 52 multiplied by 3. You get six, this is 156, and you add the two zeros. That's now the answer in liters. I repeat again, for you to understand, the tank is three quarters full. How many liters of water are needed to fill the container? Already it's three quarters full. When you eat three quarters of a banana, you only made it with a quarter of the banana. So the examiner is interested with the reminder, which is a quarter. In our case, volume is length multiplied by width times size. But because it's a quarter, what is remaining? What the examiner is asking? Just say a quarter multiplied by the length, by width, and by height. Then you multiply by 1,000 to get your answer in to get your answer in 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 in, uh, in liters, which is very much okay. Uh, so our our volume, our capacity now becomes now. 15,600 liters. Another example, uh, in the year 2011, number 25. In many cases, not a mass that you are given, you are given a cube, a cuboid, a cylinder. No, capacity is, is wide. The year 2011, number 25, they only gave you a statement. A family uses five deciliters of milk each day. A family is consuming uh, five deciliters of milk every day, every day. Assume that is your family. You are consuming only five deciliters of milk every day. Then the examiner is asking, how many liters would the family use in the month of June and July? In the month of June and July. Again, the examiner is tricking the, the candidate to see whether the candidate can can, can determine the number of days in the month of July and also in the month of June. So in such a case now, you find a country who is not conversant with the number of days in every month will have a problem getting su such a question. 
just to prove that that was the trick of the examiner, let me give you the choices that we are given. Remember all the choices, they are possible answers. The first one they gave 305 liters. The other one 30.5 liters. The other one they gave 30.0. The other one got 3.05 liters. When you look keenly at those answers, all of them are possible answers and they are latent. Now, the, what, the only important point for the candidate to understand the number of days in June and the number of days in July. When I was in uh, preschool, the teacher told me, you just have your hand like this, and you count like this, January, February, March, April, May, June. If it lands on the valley, is 30. If it lands the other side, it is now 31. So in our case, from my now preschool knowledge, June, is 30 days and July is 31 days. In my case now, all the days of June and 31, they should be 61. Uh, remember, this family is consuming only five deciliters of milk every day. Every day, the family is only consuming five deciliters every day. And in my case here now, I have a total of 61 days, both in June and July. So how many deciliters did the family consume in the two months? That means you just multiply 61, multiply it by 5, which is the same as 305. <laughs> in our case now, look at choice A. Choice A, they have given 305 liters. <laughs> and now in our case now, 305, these are already deci deciliters. So uh, a candidate who is not keen will rush and choose choice A. Which is very wrong. That's why you see at the end of every examination paper, all the candidates, even those who normally fail, they normally say the paper was very easy. Because whichever method you use, your answer is already in the choice. So in our case here now, 305, those are in liters now, and they want the answer in liters. What is the capacity? How many liters would the family use in the month of June and July in liters? So in our case now here, we have one liter is equivalent to 10 deciliters. This is now the key, the key point to note. One liter is equivalent to 10 deciliters. Again, what about 305 deciliters? How many, how many liters will they have consumed? In our case now, now, should be only 305 deciliters multiplied by 1 over 10. In our case now, this zero, you put point here. In our case now, our answer is 30.5 liters. For any student who is not keen on the number of days, if you assume now June is 30, and in your knowledge July is 30, then your answer will remain uh, C. So all these are possible answers. I want to sound a very big warning for you candidates. Be keen as you work out mathematical problems. Make sure you use your mind, you use your brain, and again, as I normally say, always use your mascara well. Mascara is your brain, so that you don't fail in your exam. You fail in your exams, in my department, you blame yourself. Because I've done much that I can to make you pass the exams. Now, in the year 2019, now, only last year now, they gave you a cylinder again. Then they ask you, a cylindrical tank is full of water. What the capacity in liters? Use phi as 22. Even they go to the extent of saying, telling you which phi you should use. So now, we have a, another cylinder. This question was tested, uh, uh, this question was tested uh, uh, last year. Question number 21. This one is a cylinder. In this case now, they gave you the diameter as 140 centimeters and the height as 75 then centimeters. Then what the capacity in liters? Definitely, even this year, I'm, I'm uh, predicting they will ask the same. They give you everything and they ask you the capacity. So volume here is now is 22 over 7. Fire square multiplied by, if the diameter is 40, radius is 70, multiplied by 70, then the height, which is 75. Then by 7, 1 by 7, you get 10. 
So you need to multiply all this, then later you divide by 1,000. To convert cubic centimeters to liters, you divide by 1,000. In my case, you can divide directly. These are two zeros, they cancel that. Then by two year, I get five. By two year, I get 11. By five, I get one. By five year, I get 15. In my case now, I have 11 multiplied by seven, multiplied by 15. 11 multiplied by 7, 11 multiplied by 7, then multiplied by 15, 11 times 7 is 77, then you multiply by 15. Multiplication skills are very much important when you are working out mathematics. So this 7 times 5 are 35, 5 carry 3, 5 times 7, 35 plus 3, 38, then we have 7 and 7, here you get 5, 5, then you get 11. Now, this is now the capacity of the tank in liters. Uh, let me remind you again, overview, of, uh, summarize what we have done. To convert cubic meters to liters, multiply by 1,000. To convert cubic centimeter to liters, divide by 1,000. And again, to convert uh, liters to deciliters, multiply by 10 and vice versa. During this time, I'm urging all the candidates, as you remain at home, do that revision. Do that revision. Don't, don't concentrate on what I've done. Go out of the box. Do that revision every day. Every day, do that revision. Like, make sure now we take a topic day by day. Take topic. Just have your own timetable and do your work systematic. Have a topic. If today you decide the volume, take volume. If you decide the volume and the capacity the same day, take volume and the capacity. Don't mix up your mind and do that revision. All the best. See you next time. Thank you.